For Wyndham, the high heat index means practice takes place under the lights on their stadium field. While mandatory water breaks stymie the rhythm of the practice, the team is eager to get its repeat campaign started. Down already, let's go. Nice job, Mitchell. Um, I love it, actually, I really do. I mean, I love being out here and getting under the lights and just experiencing and you know, getting ready for the thing, for the big game. It gets me pumped up. So, well, we've been very pleased with with the far, how far we've come. We've really improved. The kids are very coachable. Uh, they listen. They really take in what you're saying, and it's really showed. I mean, we've come a long ways in a matter of three weeks. Well, I think uh, any time, you know, especially in football with sophomores. You know, the old saying is every sophomore you have is a loss. I don't, I don't think that's true. Uh, we got a lot of sophomores that are going to have to help us. We're going to use each class, and uh, we got big numbers in each class. We got a lot of depth, and I really think some of the younger guys have stepped up, and they haven't played scared at all. They've played very aggressive, and they've played like the position is theirs. And uh, I've been very impressed with their effort and just how they carry themselves. Yeah, I mean, we just we've been trying to get better, and Perkins tells us, you know, hey, it's a new year, new guys, just got to be coachable, work hard, and just. Keep playing, doing our thing. All right. Last year was last year. Forget about it. No one thinks anything of us now, so we just got to go out and get after it. Just basically, you know, running the spread offense like we usually do, and we're gonna have, you know, we got good receivers on the outside, and you know, we got some good depth in running back, and uh, our some of our lines coming back is gonna be good. So just gotta keep working hard. Senior Cody LeBurge is no newcomer to the varsity team but now he has to replace Wyndham legend Jackson Taylor at quarterback. Well, I mean, you can't replace an All-State QB, especially Jackson, I mean. But I mean, I've just been trying to stay focused and not get stressed out and not even, just not even worry about the pressure or anything like that and just, you know, be relaxed and just do my thing. I think Cody's the type that can handle anything. He's just such a laid-back kid. He's uh, very good at, you know, if he makes a mistake coming back the next play and making a big play, it doesn't seem to bother him. He, uh, he doesn't get too hung up on making a mistake. He's just, I mean, he's an unbelievable athlete. He's been starting for us for two years. Started as a sophomore, a corner for us. And uh, he just knows how to play the game. He knows this league, he knows the competition. And uh, he's, he's just a gritty player. Cody's just, I think he's an unbelievable runner. Uh, Jackson was decent, but Cody can really run the ball. I think I can run a little better than him. I don't know, I mean, I'm not quite sure. But I mean, other than that, I mean, I think, you know, he's coached me up on a lot of things. And, you know, he's a good guy to be around, so. The first challenge for the Eagles is a trip to much improved South Portland. Oh, they got a lot of players I, as far as ability. They just, they, they seem like they, they got a new system. The kids have already picked it up well. Um, last year, they were probably, I feel, the best team that ran zone in the state. I mean, we run zone, but I think they're better at it than us. Um, they're very good up front. They know what they're doing, they communicate, the backs see it very well, their first read, their first cut is good, they, they know exactly what to do. Um, I think they're very good at zone, and defensively we got to be true to our assignments. We can't overflow or over penetrate because uh, they'll get you for a big play. We're just working on a game plan for South Portland and just, you know, running a lot of, you know, stuff that we haven't run preseason wise. We're just getting better on that and touching it up now, you know, with new stuff this week to get ready for South Portland. He said they're big and physical, you know, they can play hard, they always play hard, so we just gotta go out and just be mentally ready and just play our game. Coach Perkins takes time to keep the focus on getting better, even if it means taking some heat from the coaches. One little thing before I let you go. Some of you guys, okay, we're barking at. We're barking at you because we know you can do it. You're not doing it, you have two choices. You can hang your head and pout, which some of you do, or you can realize we're barking at you because we give a crap and we know you can get better. When we don't say anything to you, there's probably a reason. We're not wasting our breath anymore. The day we stop saying, Dylan, open your eyes, hit the hole. We stop saying it, we've given up. All right, stop pouting, you're fine. Okay, we want you guys to get better. That's why we're getting after you. All right, Kyle, let's go break us down. Break it down, Kyle, lock him Pick down. everything up. Let's go, boys. Ah, one, three. One, two, three. Big so